just being out on a day like today where it's just quiet and if you want to just have a quiet day out in the woods you can you can do that too and coming from a family that had him on skis as soon as he could walk Kyle Nagel loves the snow and Nordic skiing is uh, I've, I've done it all my life my parents tell me stories of skiing when I was so young I can't remember them Kyle's a busy guy but says every chance he gets he's up in the mountains one of the things I really like about skiing is that as you get it then it's almost like you're flying just across the snow it's incredibly graceful, like kind of a dance. And he knows lots of different steps, performing most often on dry land at Seattle Children's as an associate professor of pediatrics and orthopedic sports medicine. <music> Except for this week, he's in Pyeongchang, assisting the top Paralympic Nordic skiers in the country. I do a multiple thing. I mean, obviously I, I take care of any health issues that come up. Um, they're always... Um, medical things that happen, whether it's acute injuries, um, sometimes it can be just bumps and bruises, it can be strains, sprains. With 15 skiers competing in multiple races, including the biathlon, keeping athletes fit and healthy takes skill and compassion. Regardless of any disability or impairment that they have, they are phenomenal athletes. Listening to Kyle talk, you soon realize the enormous respect he has for the Paralympic athletes. For some athletes, it's, it's hey, they, they can no longer use their legs. Well, at some point, and it takes time to get to that point, but at some point they, they decide, hey, I'm going to try to do something. He hopes that those of us watching and cheering from home will find inspiration for our own lives, maybe even join him out in the snow. I think it is really important that we all try to some I get exercise. The nice part about this is that, hey, I think it's super fun. You're outside. It's not just going to a gym and ru running on a treadmill. It's a hidden gem. And the amazing thing for Seattleites, you can see blue sky right there. And so there's a lot of times where it's raining in the city. You just drive over the mountain, over the crest, and suddenly you're in this great blue sky, amazing conditions. They groom the trails really nicely. And it's not that far away from, from town. Kyle is living his dream at work, at play, and in South Korea. The Paralympic Games in Pyeongchang continue through the week with the closing ceremony scheduled for Sunday.